everybody. Have a look at what's on the table here. So, oh, it's just a brochure for some dental place. Um, yeah. <laughs> Today we're looking at one of these um, just devices that will just make your head kind of spin a little bit. You're like, did it, such a thing even exist? Okay, anyways. It's a brochure for Oak Ridge Dental Arts. Um, it's a dental it's a dental place that's not too far from here. Um coworker brought this in and when she showed it to me I was like, What in the heck is that thing? Um yeah, it's 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 really, really interesting what it is. They send these out in the mail, from what she told me, she got it in the mail. And it's not just your average brochure. It's a little more than that. There's a little USB, uh, mini USB port there. So, huh, what's that for? It's a little more than your typical brochure. I mean, it's <laughs> it's about a centimeter thick. And when you open it up, it starts playing video. Now, of course. Um, I've already went and, and actually swapped out the video clip. Yeah, that's what that USB port is for. It's there to charge this device and it's there to be able to access the internal memory on this guy and change out the um, video. You know, we're going to close it back and open it back up and let's let it play. And see, what's interesting about it, um, which by the way, that is the channel trailer for a CubeComp MPDX. Um, yeah, it's what's interesting about it is um, <laughs> it's just your basic video player. It gives you options to pause, play, you know, pause, play, pause. You can turn up the volume. It's as high as it goes there. Which gets pretty loud, actually, for for um, considering the little speaker that's in this guy. And of course, you can turn it all the way down to nothing if you wish. Just let it keep going. It is quite slow at the controls, anyway. And of course, there it is, fully muted. But yeah, it's just a um, it's just a simple video player. Not too much to it. Um, has an LCD display. It's actually pretty decent sized. Um, <clears throat> it's your simple video player. It has only about 100 megabytes of storage on it. Yeah, that is not much. This video here is a little over two minutes long, and that's about as long a video as it will hold. It's not intended to be able to like play back a whole movie or anything like that. Um, but still. <laughs> to get something like this in the mail is like, oh wow, what the heck is this thing? Play, you can actually, the, these companies that can buy these things have them custom made and they can load their own videos on and distribute them out to potential clients or whatnot to give you information about you know, said company. Um, the video that was on here was about a minute and a half long and it was just an advertisement for Oak Ridge Dental Arts. That's all it really was. It was about as, as I mentioned, about a minute and a half long, something like that. And what this thing does is when the video completes, which you will hear shortly, it will just keep looping it back over and over and over and over again. It just plays it over and over again. So watch this, the video is about to end. And 
and what it's going to do is it's going to start it's going to replay the video PS like how cool is that this <laughs> this um, it's called a video brochure it's actually this is actually called a video brochure um, it's real interesting how they actually can send these out in the mail because these actually contain a lithium-ion battery in them or a lipo battery actually is they actually contain a lipo battery and you, I'm sure many of you know that when laptops and phones and things like that are shipped out the boxes that you get them in usually have a declaration sticker that says lithium-ion battery if if um, package is damaged you know it's a do not do not ship it or whatever um, yeah now I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings today but we're not going to actually tear it apart I do have plans for it um, so I don't want actually I don't actually want to tear this apart I like to keep it working but yeah this, this is the back of it it's just on front and back it has it's an advertisement of the business and of course when you open this up it begins playing and just for just for the heck of it I recently just kept this thing open and running and it lasted over half an hour which is <laughs> I say incredible for what it is um, yeah it's you know, some company I don't know who actually makes these I think there I feel I think a few different companies actually make them and the vendor of course had it custom printed and made for this um, dentist and either the dentist himself or the vendor loaded the video on for them it's just it's just a basic 720 by 480 mp4 video is all this is um, that's all it's really designed to really play so we'll go ahead and actually plug this into the um, computer and show you how you actually can access the file on this okay so we're sitting at the, at the um, computer now we'll go ahead and plug this in as I mentioned, it takes just your basic mini USB cable. Some of these you have to do a few key presses to get them to go into access mode, but this one here you just plug in and that's it. Just plug it in. This is also how you charge it. it plugs in, and you can hear it's already um, being detected by the machine. Some of these you actually have to open them up. You can see it says device is connecting. Um, some of these you actually have to open them up and press the pause button three times or so to make it go into access mode. But that's all there is to it. I'm going to set it over here to this side. And we can actually access the internal memory. And you can see here it is 12 megabytes free of 90.9 .9 megabytes. So I'm going to assume the flash on here is probably just 100 megabytes and it just goes into a little folder that says video and you can actually play the video itself here's the video I supplied this, this was originally a 720p video I just went into um, Movie Maker and actually downsize it to an MP4, um, 720 by 480. That's roughly the resolution, I think. It's a four, um, 480p resolution. This one's actually 854 by 480, 30 frames per second. Here's the original video that actually came on it. I'll play a little bit of it. Oak Ridge Dental Arts is a wonderful place. I feel kind of like it's a spa. Anyways, that's the video itself. Um, which similar situation, they actually had this video on their YouTube channel. And of course, it's a high definition video. They just downsize it to their details. 800 by 480. And it's funny, this one's only 23 frames per second. The video I supplied to the device is 30. Now, 
one may be curious like would you be able to actually put on a high definition video um, I don't really see the point of doing so considering the size of the screen this don't suck it really make much sense to actually do that now supposedly this is an mp4 player but I'm curious to see if it can play other formats like for example AVI you know it's going to delete the file that's on there well first let's see what happens when you, when you try to play it and there's nothing on it see if you see what kind of error message you may get okay so the device has no file on it let's open it no file <laughs> all right we'll plug it back in and let's load a, um, a file onto it see if it gives any sort of error about the resolution being too big or un unrecognized file type you know what have you And of course it has to be under 90 megabytes because this thing does not have a lot of <laughs> storage available on it. Alright, let's see what happens here. Ah, it can play it. It actually can play. This is me testing out a new camera I got. This is an AVI 720p file. Find it interesting that I can actually play that. So we'll give it an MOV file, see what happens. Again, was same thing, plug it back in. I just gotta see if I can locate an MOV file that's small enough to fit on here. So it's not limited to just MP4. It can play AVI. Okay, I just loaded an MOV. 720p file onto here. Let's see what happens. Okay, everybody, the batteries are now charging up in the charger. I'm going to end this video here, and I will continue this series in another video where I'll be testing out the capacity on these cells to see how much they hold. So, anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, thanks for watching. And of course, as I'm, as we all know, it this will continue to loop over and over again. So this thing is very flexible as to what you can put on it. Um, it plays it fairly smoothly, um, I have to say. They're now charging up in the charger. I'm going to end this video here, and I will continue. Let's see what else we can put on it. Okay, we just found a very old file to play with here. It is a... Um, it's an ASF video file from late 2007 recorded on a crappy DXG305V. The video is like, yeah, it's over four minutes long, but it's only about 40 megabytes. So I'm curious, so if you're wanting to play a longer video, if this thing will accept a crappy quality video, and if it will accept this ASF format. I have other formats I can try on here as well. So we're just going to open up the internal memory yet again. We'll delete that. Paste this in here. 
So this thing so far seems to be pretty flexible. Let's see if it'll play back an ASF file. Okay. Yes, it does. It's a video. It's a video of friends um, acting crazy with a golf cart. Across the street is the place I live at now. Yeah, that's back when my place I live at now was a rent was a rental property. Alrighty, so this thing seems to be very, you know, it seems to be very flexible at what it will play. I mean, we've played MP4, we played MOV, we played AVI, we played ASF. Um, yeah, there's <laughs> just lots of, there's lots of random stuff it'll play. We have to say, this is a very neat little device, I'm considering what it is. It's real simple. I mean, you just have basic controls. For play and pause and your volume, you you can't seek with it, but it's <laughs> for what you know, for its intention is is pretty neat. I mean, one can load this thing. This seems like any kind of video they wish on here, and it will play. Um, I haven't tried a 1080p video. I don't really, I don't really see the point in trying because I mean that's higher, much higher than the resolution that this of this screen. Um, and I would also imagine that when you load on high definition video, it is also harder on the processor to play and consume the battery faster. I don't know the exact capacity of the batteries in here, but it, this thing will play 480p video for quite some time. Um, like I mentioned, I think half an hour is when I got out of it before. Which, yeah, that was, that was so funny by the way. Uh, as a friend, there was <laughs> our friend took off in another friend's golf cart and just started mudding out in the um, trails across the street from where I live now. But um, <laughs> anyways, um, yeah, that's a look at a relatively interesting gadget. It's called a video brochure. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hey everybody. I sure hope you guys enjoyed this video from Q Computer Channel. Remember to like the video, subscribe to Q Computer Channel for more updates, and remember to tick the bell so that we actually get notified of these updates. Did you know that I am also on a second channel? That's CubeComp MTDX. Over there you'll find videos of bicycling, weather, elevators, and all sorts of other neat and interesting stuff. Feel free to subscribe to that channel as well. And again, I thank you for your support, and thanks for watching this video.